everyone. I'm Carol Reed. Welcome to Storytime. Our story today is the spider's web. Whether you're teaching your classes online or sending children work to do at home, here are some ideas that I hope will help you to keep your pupils engaged and learning. If you're teaching your classes online, you might like to introduce or revise other parts of the body and play a version of the Simon Says game, as in the story video, using a flashcard or puppet. You can also do a simple action chant. For example, one, two, three, move with me, shake your body, touch your nose, wave your arms, touch your toes. Elicit or remind children of the names of the tiny animals in the story. If you and your children are using mini whiteboards, get the children to draw a picture of one of the tiny animals that they like. They can then take turns to show their pictures and say the animal they like, or you can use this as a guessing game. Do you like the beetle? Yes, I do. No, I don't. You can link the story to culture by teaching children the traditional rhyme or song of Incy Wincy Spider. Use your thumb and little finger to show the spider going up the spout. Children often very much enjoy learning how to do this and copying you. You can also link the story to values education. In the story, Colin, Bella, Gary and Lucy work together as a team to free the butterfly. You might like to ask the children how they work as a team with their family and their siblings at the moment. Maybe they do things like tidy their room, lay the table, help their dads cook and so on. And obviously, as you listen to their ideas, you'll need to recast them in English. If children have drawn the pictures of the life cycle of the butterfly following the video, get them to show you their pictures and talk about them. For example, number one, it's a little egg. Number two, it's a caterpillar and so on. If you're sending children work to do at home, you might get children to draw and paint or colour a picture of a butterfly and label the body parts, legs, wings, head, body, eyes. They can also write about their pictures. For example, my butterfly is red, yellow and blue. Get children to complete and write sentences to accompany their pictures showing the life cycle of the butterfly so number one, it's a little egg, and so on. If you like, you can get children to invent and draw a picture of an imaginary bug. They can also invent a name for their bug and complete or write sentences about the bug or label the parts of the body. Get children to do a simple story review. I like Colin, I don't like the spider, I think the story is great. I think the story is scary and so on. You can also get children to add the parts of the body and bug vocabulary to their story time picture dictionary. And of course, at the end, it's always a good idea to get children to review their learning from the story. For example, I can name parts of the body. I can act out the life cycle of the butterfly. If you're teaching online and sending children work to do at home, you can use a combination of these ideas. I hope you and your children enjoy the spider's web and I look forward to seeing you with another story next week. In the meanwhile, stay safe, stay positive and stay at home. Bye for now.